Police were called to the scene outside the Pepper Club on Sunday, 11 April, after a 22-year-old woman reportedly fell from the 10th floor. She died on scene. The woman was confirmed to be Anele Tembe, fiancé of the famous rapper AKA. Details surrounding what led up to the tragedy remain a mystery. The couple was last seen at Ayepeye in Kloof Street where the rapper had performed the night before. The general manager, Ifi Ella, told News24 that they are working closely with police on the matter. The incident that took yesterday between half past seven and 7.45 uh, Sunday morning, uh, we re I received a call from the receptionist telling me there's a lady that apparently jumped. Um, I arrived to the scene, by the time I arrived to the scene there was paramedics and the police already. Uh, and very quickly the police took over the scene, uh, informed the families, and that's basically it. The police is still investigating, so from our side we, we're not allowed to divulge anything. I can just say that we are very sorry about the incident uh, for Nelly family and for Mr. Forbes. It's a very unfortunate situation uh, and our condolences and we just hoping that clarity will come very quick and everybody can go back to their life as, as much as possible. An eyewitness told News24 that the rapper was taken to hospital after police had cleared the scene. Anela was family. She was my cousin, the younger sister I never had, and a best friend to me. An online prayer meeting was held on Monday evening for Tembe, where close family and friends paid tribute to her. I recall the last time, the last conversation that I had with Anele, she was so happy and radiant and she looked so beautiful on that day. And uh, we take the memory that in, in, in the short time that we've known her, relatively speaking, that we got to share in one of the happiest days in her life and of course that of, of Kenna. And whilst we are deeply sad, we, we feel very privileged to, as a family, to have, to have known Anele. Anele, we will miss you and you will be in our hearts forever. Meanwhile, outside the hotel, late on Monday afternoon, grieving members of the public started laying flowers on the scene where Tembe died. We made that little shrine because when someone dies like this, it shouldn't be taken lightly. And she deserves to be respected and she just deserves to be remembered. And I just want her spirit to feel like she means something and she's important and she is valued and she's loved even on the other side.